Jeannie will see you in ten days. Oh, Master, you must not go on this journey without me. You do not know what trouble you will get into. Oh, please, let me out of here, Master. Jeannie. Now, oh, come on. Come on, Jeannie. Now, stop that. But just... I think you're trying to tell me something. <laughs> and I think I better listen. <laughs> Ooh, you and I had better have a talk. You are headed for disaster. <laughs> Mission. Where? To a city called Hollywood, in a place called California, where they make moving pictures. Why must you go? Because NASA has assigned me as a technical director for an astronaut movie that Mammoth Studios is going to make. You mean astronauts are going to be in these moving pictures? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Well, actually, it stars Rita Mitchell. Rita Mitchell has had six husbands and is looking for her seventh. Oh, you are going to need all the help I can give you. Hey, that's a cute outfit. Where do you think you're going? I'm going with me. I have never seen pictures that move or a Rita Mitchell. Well, it's really nothing much to see. Besides, you've got your studying to do, young lady, and that's important. You've got 2,000 years to catch up on. <laughs> By the way, have you done your homework? But there are so many things in your newspapers and books that I do not understand. Well, just take uh, take the red crayon and uh, circle all the things you don't understand, and I'll explain it all. Explain. <laughs> Why can I not make red circles in Hollywood? Uh, yes. Your car's here, Captain. Huh? Can I get your bags? Uh, no, no, I'll take care of my own bags. And I'll see you in a moment, Sergeant. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Now, Jeannie, now, hey, 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 I got a good idea. A very, very good idea. Look, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put my name on this envelope. And 
I'm going to give you the address of my hotel in Hollywood, California. And anything you don't understand, you just mail to me, and I will explain to you by return mail. See? As you wish, Master. I hope your journey gives you much pleasure. There are no pleasures involved in this. This is a military assignment, direct from Washington, D.C. Now, you'll be a good girl. Oh, I am going to be a very good girl. Thanks, Judy. Right often. <laughs> Nelson, mm -hmm. a letter for you, sir. Oh, thanks. Rita? Or should I say, Miss Mitchell, as your technical advisor, I want you to know that no sacrifice is too great. Master, what is Medicare? Gee, what are you doing here? Don't tell me, don't tell me. I know. You couldn't finish the article until you knew what a Medicare was. Thou art so clever. <laughs> oh, God! If there's anything I can't stand, it's a, a smart Alec Genie. That was so clever, I'd never have opened your bottle on that beach. Oh, art thou really sorry? No, I guess not. <laughs> I've grown accustomed to your smoke. Oh, so that is Rita Mitchell. She is beautiful. Rita Mitchell's six husbands, who will be number seven? <laughs> Yes. Yes, this is uh, Captain Nelson here. Oh, uh, hello, Miss Tracy. Uh huh. S stage 12A. Right, I, I can leave right away. Right, thank you. It's the producer. He's waiting for me at the studio. Now, what am I going to do with you, huh? Take me with you? As what? A harem dancer? This is business. <laughs> Meet thy new secretary. <laughs> Jeannie, I'm going to put my foot down. You are not going to leave this room. I can't have you. We are late, Master. Pardon me, uh, I'm Captain Nelson. I'm one of with Mr. Tracy. Oh, yes, Captain. Mr. Tracy's waiting for you on stage 12A. Find him down this way. Thank you, Captain. I want you to make Rita Mitchell's spacesuit look like a bikini. Remember, the male eyes of America expect to see you that way. <laughs> well, Captain Nelson, I see it didn't take you long to get here. I, I, I uh, can't tell you how glad I am to see you. Thank you very much. This is my secretary, Miss Jeannie. And what is your first name, my dear? A Jeannie. Oh, Jeannie, Jeannie. We haven't had one of those around here since Simone Simone. <laughs> Man, our, our picture deals with an American astronaut named Thompson, who finds himself in a rather interesting predicament, inasmuch as it has become necessary to reduce him to the size of a pinhead. The size of a pinhead? You see, Captain, by reducing this little astronaut, it is now possible to inject him into the body of a Russian astronaut. <laughs> Say, about the size of you. <laughs> now, here, we have an enlargement of the astronaut. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Once inside the Russian astronaut, the tiny American <laughs> works his way slowly but torturously through bone and marrow <laughs> into his very brain. Even I cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> a 
I'll bet you could. <laughs> she's got a sense of humor, huh? Oh, yes, yes, she's a million laughs. <laughs> what does he do, uh, the little astronaut, once he gets inside there? I hope he does not sneeze. Not a bad idea. <laughs> On second thought, negative. It might scatter the information he's obtained. <laughs> now, now we have the little astronaut inside the big astronaut, and he has obtained information vital and necessary to the defense of our country. Any questions? Yes. How does the little astronaut get out? Good question. How does he get out? <laughs> I'd better track down that writer of ours, wherever he is. <laughs> I want you to know that we have put the best story minds in Hollywood on this, and we have spared no expense in casting. We've done our part. Now you must do your part. What's that, sir? Keep this picture believable. <laughs> Miss Mitchell, ready on the set, please. I want you to meet our lovely astronaut, Miss Rita Mitchell. Ready, Miss Mitchell. Rita, darling, I want you to meet our technical advisor, the famous Captain Tony Thompson. Nelson. Oh, well, I'm impressed, Henry. I never thought I'd get to meet a real live astronaut. Well, I never thought I'd get to meet a real life Rita Mitchell. I'm giving a little cocktail party tonight, in your honor, at my house. Um, shall we say seven o'clock? Oh, seven o'clock will be fine. Good. <laughs> oh, and of course, you're invited, too. Well, thank you. It will be a welcome change from staying home alone with my bottle. <laughs> uh, ready for you, Miss Mitchell. Oh, yes. Yeah. Much dictating to do. Oh, well, we're going to make him forget all of it. I'm three olives ahead of you. <laughs> this is Captain Nelson's secretary. And I think maybe I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> maybe you're in the wrong business. Isn't she scrumptious? This is Jeannie Jeannie, a name worth repeating. This is Hubie, and this is Chris Dave. How do you do? Tell me, how uh, long have you been a secretary? Uh, since noon. Oh? <laughs> and uh, where did you study stenography? Uh, where did I study, uh, uh what? <laughs> I've been fascinated by space. I'm a scientist at heart. <laughs> no kidding. You don't look like one. Oh, don't worry if I have a master's degree in physics. Really? Well, maybe you're in the wrong business. Maybe you should think of becoming an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Jeannie, you uh, don't mind if I call you Jeannie, do you? You know, you really ought to think about becoming a movie star like Rita Mitchell. There aren't many girls like you around. How did you know? Well, uh... <laughs> you know, honey, you're my kind of people. <laughs> The uh, neck ring fits uh, onto the suit here, and the helmet threads onto it. And the unit is carried by hand. <laughs> do you believe in trade? Oh, yes. I do, too. Oh, you and I are going to make beautiful musicals together. <laughs> Let's have a drink on that. Well, I can't offer you the excitement I'm sure you're used to as an astronaut, but... Uh, I do hope you'll let me show you the real Hollywood. That sounds exciting enough. <laughs> Good. Then we'll start with lunch tomorrow in Beverly Hills. In Beverly Hills, about oh. one o'clock? Oh! 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 I refuse to answer on the grounds that you might get angry. Get angry? I'd like to mail you home. 
your home, not mine. <laughs> you are going out again with the woman of many husbands? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. We're going to have lunch, discuss the picture. And I don't want you reigning in my soup. <laughs> Master, if I were a movie star, would you have lunch with me? Sure, sure, anytime. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Then I will have to become a movie star. I do not know how, but if it will save him, then I must do it. May I get down now, please? Hold it, don't move. We could get hurt up there. I'll let you down. I wish you extras would quit playing around with our equipment. Hey, who are you? You're not one of our extras. I'm looking for Mr. Tracy. Uh, is he here? Oh. Is he expecting you? Oh, no, I do not think so. But last night he said I should be a star like Rita Mitchell. <laughs> oh, just like that, huh? Yes. I would like to be a star by tonight if it is not too much trouble for you. Oh, no, 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 no trouble at all. <laughs> you know what she needs. A screen test. One screen test coming right up. <laughs> what can you do? Do? I can disappear. <laughs> I can disappear. <laughs> but not before I get your name and phone number, sweetie. <laughs> Well, I can make myself into smoke. Oh, no, no, no. Everybody does that. <laughs> you have a scene ready? A scene? A scene. Lines. Some dialogue. Do you know uh, the face on the barroom floor? No. But I can recite the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. He would not mind. He was a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> friend of yours, huh? Oh, yes. He used to try out all his material on me. <laughs> uh, he wrote poetry. <laughs> oh, Lord! How lovely! It is just like home. It is empty. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? Say, listen. Why don't you recite some of your friend's poetry for the test? Y if you so desire. Action. The moving finger writes, and having writ, moves on. Nor all thy piety nor wit can lure it back to cancel half a line. Nor all thy tears wash out a word of it. And when, like her, O Saki, you shall pass among the guests, Stars scattered in the grass. And in your joyous errand, reach the spot where I made one. Turn down an empty glass. Who is she? I'm sorry, Mr. Hugers. I didn't know you came back from lunch. I'll get rid of her right away. Get rid of her? I want to test her. Oh, great test. Gee, they were putting you on. Putting me on what? No, I'm just not teasing you. You just can't walk into a film studio and get a screen test. I did it for you. Now I can please you as much as Rita Mitchell does because I'm going to be a big star. Yeah, who said so? Jason Huberts. He is a very nice man. He is going to help me. He's going to help you what? <laughs> Master, is it that you are jealous of him? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Of course I'm not jealous of him, but I just... Well, I hate to see a nice genie like you make a fool of yourself, that's all. He makes a very handsome caliph. Listen, the last time you got involved with a caliph, it cost you the best 2,000 years of your life. I wish you could not speak to me as though I were a child. After all, I'm, I'm older than you are. Yeah, on a mere technicality. <laughs> I'm just telling these things to you for your own good. Just stay away from that movie crowd, huh? I'm going to go and meet Miss Mitchell. Oh, but I was hoping that you would come see my screen test. Well, I can't. The whole thing's ridiculous. Where's the showing? 
At the studio, in Mr. Tracy's projection room. Well, I have another engagement. I can't. This had better be good, Hubie. You're taking me away from... Oh, hello, Jeannie. You're gonna love this kid, Henry. I can't wait. All right, roll it. as pale and lifeless compared to thy ruby lips. Oh, mighty Caliph, thine arms have such might they leave me weak. The strength cometh from my love. Hold me. What is this? What's the gag? <laughs> my desert siren. When thou lookest at me this way, it seemeth as though thou wert looking right through me. Right, cut it, cut it. Who's the droll fellow that thought this little stunt would be amusing? You, Hubie? Me? I tell you, she was in that test. She was brilliant. It must have been a cameraman or special effects. Dragging a busy man away for this nonsense when he's got little astronauts to worry about. Genius. I don't know what happened, but... I'm terribly sorry. could not make pictures of me. It's me. Here. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a crying genie. You are being kind. Do, do, do not bother with me. You will be late for Rita Mitchell. I cancel that date. I promise I, I will not rain on you anymore. What? I canceled that date. Why? Well, I'm a little worried about you. Oh, Vester. I, I cannot believe it. You can't believe what? I have taken thee away from the biggest movie star in Hollywood. <laughs> well, that's showbiz. <laughs> These are footprints of Hollywood movie star. Maybe there's Clark Gable, Wallace Berry, A. Cantor. Master, mm -hmm. our visit here was unforgettable, too. <laughs> yes, it was. Then why do we not put our footprints in the cement, huh? Well, for one thing, you can't do it that way. Uh, cement would have to be soft. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 